Welcome to the show. I'm Danella. Here's what's happening now. We survived. We survived the midterm elections. Yes, we made it. Um, Also, I made it through my birthday. (laughs) It was wild. So much to talk about. Where should we start? First of all, I know that this was a huge election. I know that that should be the main focus of political pop this week, but I decided I'm going to put it on hold because don't you feel just overrun with politics? It's been a lot. Um, But there are some things to highlight. Obviously, women came through in the elections, historical numbers um, from the youngest woman, women from all over the country, different walks of life, different religions. Um, It's been pretty amazing. But what I want to talk to you about also is what we miss during the elections, you know? There's a lot of things that happen. One of the things that I thought was wild that people barely got to talk about was a, was the fact that Harvard said that they discovered a UFO, like an alien life probe. Did you see it? Google it if you haven't seen it. If you're watching the podcast, here's pictures right now. So this cigar-shaped object cruising through our solar system, okay, And so Harvard researchers say that it's some sort of alien probe. That's what they're speculating. Cool, huh? I think it's cool. They literally published this in a paper. They said that the object originated somewhere else and was possibly sent to Earth by an alien civilization. Yeah, I said it. That's what they said. Harvard researchers said this. I'm just saying, we were all looking at the midterms, okay? We were all watching to see, oh, the House switched. Yes, Democrats are in. Oh, no, other parts of the country still racist. (laughs) That's what we were looking at. Meanwhile, Harvard cats were like, yo, uh, we're just going to let y'all know about this uh, alien probe that was just cruising in the solar system. We just saying. Also... What we missed <laughs> while we were watching the elections. I don't even, I'm just, I'm just, hey, I just tell you what I find. So you guys know. So you can't be somewhere and say, nobody told you. You're the last to know. You're not the last to know. I'm letting you know. Um, also, did you guys hear about this? A Motel 6 in Arizona literally gave their guest list to immigration agents. It's unbelievable. And ICE came through and straight lock cats up and now motel six has to pay 7.6 million dollars it happened back in july however the settlement is in now they have to pay 7.6 million dollars and so here's what the lawsuit claims that motel six violated their privacy by providing the guest list to the u.s immigration and customs enforcement i think i agree If ICE didn't have a a warrant and they just turned it over, they're violating their customers' rights. So the breakdown is this. Okay, so up to 5.6 million will go to guests in Motel 6 who face immigration removal proceedings. Then they're eligible to receive at least 7,500 each. Now, another 1 million is set aside for guests who were questioned or interrogated by immigration authorities, with each guest receiving $1,000. And the remaining $1 million is going to guests whose information was turned over to immigration authorities from February 1st, 2017 to November 2nd, 2018. November 2nd, y'all was still doing this? Those cats will get $50 each. Wow, Motel 6 in Arizona? Dang. Again, I was busy, like, watching the election coverage all night. (laughs) Like, what's happening? What's red? What's blue? What's happening? And missed a lot of this other news. I mean, I know that immigration is a concern in America, but that seems so unfair. You just check into a hotel, and they're just like, "Mm, let me turn over all this information and have immigration come and interrogates you to see if you're a legal resident. Terrible. The other thing that's happening, right, while we're still watching who turned red, who turned blue, all of it, um, okay, now what? These are all big questions, right? We all feel like, okay, now Democrats are in control of the House. We have a lot of young progressives in there. What's going to happen? What now? So what's also happening while that's happening 
is that there's still a migrant caravan coming up. They're, they're not even taking days off. And so the amount of people has dwindled down, but still we're talking thousands of people are still on foot, families walking up, heading to America. And my understanding is 50,000 troops have been deployed to the border. They're not only set to secure the border, but also create tents to what I read, indefinitely detain people. I read that the individuals that have been deployed there aren't there to shoot or harm people. However, some of them are armed. So it's definitely a lot happening in our country. Um, and it's just making me just feel like exhausted. <laughs> Like, I'm not trying to be funny about it, but it's so much. It's like you just want to have a good time, you know? In a sense, you're like, let me just do something to get these endorphins going to have a good time. And that's going to lead me into my birthday celebration because I learned some things about the world that I had missed out. So first of all, let me say thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes. Thank you. I, I appreciate all the kind words that those of you have shared Thank you so much. It was really amazing. I, I really like my family. Shout outs to my family. Y'all go hard. My friends, thank you so much for helping me celebrate. So I found myself in a club once again. So let me just say, in my fairness, because I once I got out of entertainment, I was like, I'm not going to clubs unless one of two things are happening. One, I'm being paid then I'll go. Or two is somebody I really care about is their birthday. That's the only time you really see me like in a club, right? Celebrating something of someone I care about. So I technically wasn't in a club, but I didn't realize that once you get to a certain hour, it turns into a club, right? That kind of happened. So at some point I'm leaving um, to go use the restroom, not leaving for the night, but just going to use the restroom. So I'm walking and this is how I realized it's been a long time and I'm not judging anybody. Let me preface, preface, preface what I'm about to say by saying this. I have also had weave in my hair when I worked for BET. My hairstylist was like, if you want to have hair at the end of this, you better put some weave on it because we're curling your hair every day. It's going to fall out. Thank you for that. Um, so... At the time when I was at BT, so when I first started, so many moons ago, when I first, first started, it was, what, 2005 was my first BT show. Yes, back in the day. That was the first one. And so I remember it wasn't everybody didn't have one. Like, everybody didn't have one. So I swear to you, I'm walking in the club, and there's so much weave and wig sticking to my lip gloss. As I'm trying, I'm trying to get to the bathroom, I'm just like, <laughs> right and I was like man it's no break it's no break <laughs> and so I'm just looking around like wow I haven't been out in so long in so long because it used to be you know some people did it not like nearly everyone that's partly why I was like I'm wearing a ponytail when I do my podcast again that's what I'm doing put some conditioner and I'm wearing a ponytail because <laughs> because oh man it's it's like hard you know to really see anything natural anymore and again I'm not saying that anything is wrong with anybody in the world but because I had walked by so much of like the weave right I go, I'm, I'm like using the bathroom, I'm thinking to myself, I was like, man, you might be too old to be in the club, yo. <laughs> you ain't been in the club in a minute. You know, first of all, the songs and the, I was like, wow, I don't know this much ratchet music. It's been a while. And I'm asking my husband like, who's this one? Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> like, looking at my younger cousin and I'm like, oh, this song, oh, okay. I didn't know this one, thank you. Um, but I come out of the bathroom and then I'm like washing my hands and I look in the mirror and I was like, oh, all right, you still got it. <laughs> you know, you not, you still can be out. Because um, what I realized is this, we get so used to seeing things that aren't real that then when you actually see like what your real self is, looks like, you think maybe I don't look that good. <laughs> you know, maybe because um, maybe I look crazy. Literally. And, you know, I, I just don't think we kind of realize how always seeing something fake, whether it is 
um, body parts or hair or lashes or fingernails that um, who you really are, you start to doubt that like that authentic self of you is beautiful. You really start to doubt that, I, I think, because you're so used to seeing things that aren't real. Guys, you are in a much better situation because I can see that they, they have some fake hair for you guys, but y'all not doing that. I think the hardest thing for guys, I feel, I'm not a man, but from what I see in these streets, is that when your hair starts thinning, that's hard, especially when it happens young. I had a few friends that that happened to, like, in their early 20s. It was really difficult for them. So I think that's, like, the hard thing. But, like, women, yo! Just letting you know, women got it hard. And I don't know if you guys like this stuff. Like, I can't imagine what it's like for you if you take home a girl from the club and you just start, like, peeling back her layers. Do you? I don't know. I don't know what happens. Because <laughs> I'm looking and the hotties that's twerking the most and showing all the everything that they have, you know, getting the most attention. And I'm looking, I'm like, you know, if she takes all those things off, that might be a different person. Um... And so I just start to really question, um, this is going to come up in a future podcast when I can talk to more women. I really start to question what this does to our young women and our psyche because I'm an adult and they had me up in the club feeling crazy. <laughs> Again, it wasn't a club. It was really a restaurant that was a lounge. And then somehow it turned into a club. And somehow I shut it down. Ah. I mean, I shut it down like where I shut it down, but it was like lights was coming on. And that's my other thing is leave before the lights come on. <laughs> we did not leave before the lights come on, um, came on because it was also daylight savings. <laughs> it's my birthday, right? So we were like, is it going to go an extra hour? It didn't. And so then we went to another club. But anyway, it was wild. And... Um, just while just being out and being like, oh, this is what's happening now. And I'm just at this interesting place where I'm transitioning back to being back out there in the world, working more in the world. And so I need to, you know, get myself more abreast on what's happening so I can relate. <laughs> but uh, literally, it's very, it's like different, you know, because I can kick it with my three-year-old and we're, we're killing it. I can do home theater while he's eating his food. And, you know, of course he's like, mama, you're the best, <laughs> you know? And then I go out and, you know, I start checking myself like, oh, I don't have fake nails and I'm on a weed break. I'm trying to get my natural curl pattern back after having to press in my hair for so many years, you know, straightening it and then nursing my child for years changes your body. And just like really adjusting to this new life, you know? Um, and so I can't imagine what young girls think where they haven't fully developed or, you know, they grow up and they see their moms that way and they're like, well, why can't my hair look like mommy's or why isn't my nose like mommy's nose or my body, you know, isn't like mommy. And when you have a fluency, you can then say, well, don't worry, baby, your 16th birthday, we'll buy you a new nose. You know, you shouldn't have to put up with the nose you don't want. So we'll talk about that on another show because I don't know, all of it to me is connected. You know, with so much stress in the world, you look to find joy and happiness. And if you look in the mirror and you don't see yourself reflected as a beautiful self, it causes pain and more discomfort, you know? So I don't know, just a lot of reflections. I appreciate your patience with me as we go through this because I don't know, I just was thinking about my birthday, man, like this election and I'm like so much things are happening in the world, but we're so focused on this. We're missing a lot. Like the fact that Harvard researchers were like, nah, for real, there's an alien probe. I know they're going to, you know, disprove it in a couple days. That's how they roll. But um, some smart cats was like, cats, they was checking us out. Just wanted y'all to know. And then we were like, oh, Trump said this at a rally. He um, said that he wasn't going to call women beautiful anymore. And that was a dig at the Me Too movement. Right. We're focused on that instead of other things. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what this journey, how this journey continues. Um, one of the things I do want to talk to you about is that I have a new show that I'm working on teaming up with a couple of great guys. <laughs> We're gonna start a new show. I'll tell you about that soon as it begins. Get, get 
closer to starting our start date. But um, it'll be interesting to be out there in a way that I haven't been in a while, you know. Uh, on my podcast, one of the things I love about it is that I can do what's in my heart and I can, you know, look however I want and say whatever I want and be comfortable with that. Because those of you that are watching, you know, we're family. <laughs> and I have vowed to be transparent and genuine and it's awesome. So it'll be interesting to kind of counter that with sponsors <laughs> later <laughs> right and I had a birthday so in my mind I, I want to you know continue this and really fight for what I feel is right regardless of what whether or not it's popping or popular I don't know but I just feel like the only thing I can be and do is what's natural to me and what's in my heart. So that has to be right, right? I don't know. We'll see. All of us will see. I hope you uh, check it out. So when we get closer to it, I'll let you know um, what the show is, the name of the show. We have it already and how you can join us and participate. I hope that you do. It'll be great. So... <laughs> A lot of work to get ready for it, but um, I'm grateful for the challenges and grateful for you for going along on this journey with me. So yeah, soon we'll be back to our regular podcast, maybe. I don't know. I just feel like we're just evolving. Today I was like, you know, I want to sit somewhere comfortable and just talk about my lessons over the week. And this felt nice. So thank you. As always, if you'd like to email me, you can email me, Danella at DanellaNow.com. And on social media, and speaking of social media, again, thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes. It was awesome. Thank you. Um, across all platforms at Danella Now. Now, I want you to have an incredible week. I'm going to give you some homework again this week. I want you to do something that brings you joy and makes you feel good. Because it was a rough week. Rough. And it's going to get rougher. It's still rough. It's still rough and it's going to get rougher because so much has to be broken down in order for it to be better. So many truths have to be revealed in order for us to know what needs to be changed. And so it's not going to feel good and it's going to be tough. But my hope is that we as a people humans on earth because they probing us I'm just saying that's what Harvard said I ain't say it Harvard said it they checking things out some people are so my hope is that us as humans can start to become closer together can start to be less hurtful to one another less divisive to one another and connect to help one another so the start of that is do something joyous for yourself this weekend. Tell me about it if you have some free time, okay? So have an incredible weekend, and I will see you next week.